What is up, y'all? It's your girl, Monique, back at it again with another video. And today, I am so excited to share with you all this beautiful magazine cover that I personally created in Canva of the Nicki Minaj. So if this is something that interests you and you want to find out more, make sure you go ahead and click that like button, click that subscribe button, and stay tuned. All right, so let's get straight into it. So this is going to be a raw, you know, uncut tutorial as I walk you through the steps on how to create this yourself. So as you see, I have so many different elements and so many different things in here that this may be a little bit lengthy video, but I promise you once you stay to the end that you will love the outcome. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Okay, so before we get straight into things, we need to talk about the dimensions of this template. So this is an 8 inch by 24 inch and by all means you can create whatever dimensions you like um, for whatever template you like um, for the this magazine cover but to give it that feel that aesthetic of oh this is a book this is a hard copy like you could see this on actual newsstands you know you want to put it in something that's more of the traditional sizing so the second thing I did was I opened up another tab and I went to Google I typed in Nicki Minaj Time Magazine so she did do a Time Magazine cover, and I'm going to pull up some images from there. This is what her cover looked like, and this is what I got the inspiration from. Um, and so the photo that I actually used was from her Time Magazine interview, um, but it was not the photo cover. So I kind of pasted together these two designs and also what I saw on Canva and kind of just played with it and put my own spin to it. So this is a photo I downloaded, um, and then I downloaded this photo, as everybody knows, from Google. And then I went ahead and I uploaded it. Once I uploaded the image, I then took the image, I clicked on it. And so what we're gonna do now is put it in the left-hand corner and drag to resize. So don't worry about the head being chopped off a little bit. We're gonna crop it, pull it back down just a little bit. So then the next thing that I did, um, I pressed T, pulled up a text box, and let's make this a little bit bigger. And so the font that I use for the header right here behind her head, this font is, let me find it, is this one, Bodani, <laughs> FLF. Um, and so this is in all caps and I just put time. And so let's just enlarge that. Yes. And then what I did from here was I also turned down the transparency to about there. Let's turn it up just a little bit more. There we go. All right. And so the next thing that I did was I went back to the same image, duplicated it again from the left-hand corner, and I dragged it all the way down. So what I want to do now is try to get it to a size where I it kind of matches up with the background. So what I want to do now is go ahead and click the edit image and I want to use the background remover. It's going to take a few seconds. All right. So in order to match it up exactly, what we're going to do is zoom in, then we're going to turn down the transparency on the one in the front, and then I'm going to try my best to align her shoulders. Let's see, that's still a little too big. That looks perfect. So let's move it over just a little bit. And this part is the most time consuming part, you guys. Um, really making sure that you take your time. And I think, let's make it just a little bit smaller. I think that's good. I think that will work. Um, and so what we do now, and sometimes Canva does this weird thing where it glitches. Um, and so if you see me just 
clicking anywhere. I'm just trying to get the white screen to be removed. Um, and so what we're going to do now is turn the transparency back up all the way to 100. And then we want to click position and we want to bring it forward. And voila, that's how we get her standing behind or standing in front of the time um, logo. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is move on to the text. So what I did for the text was I brought up a text box in Canva, brought up a text box. And so let's expand the font just a little bit. Pretty should be good. Mm, let's bring it up just a little bit more. I know it's kind of hard to see. And so again, I go back to Google and I bring up the inspiration and this was the inspiration. Um, and so basically I put everything on the left hand side and I kind of follow the same format. Um, so right here, I put the T H E and the sizing for that is 70. And the font that I use was again, the Bondani FLF. <laughs> and then again, then this was 70. But then I also want to make sure everything is aligned. Something that I did um, that I am forgetting to mention is I pulled up the file and then I went to show guides or sorry, I pulled up the file. Let's take that off. And I went to, is it the ruler? Yes. And then I just made sure that everything was aligned um, this way. And so what I do from here is I just match up everything. And so as you see, Canva will light up once everything is hit in that bar to keep everything aligned on one side. So I use that to kind of help me with um, keeping everything together and aesthetically pleasing. Um, and so for this, I use a font called, let's look it up. So again, let's expand it to about 45. And right there, I put 100. And the font that I use was Horizon Outline. And the sizing of that was 251. And then what I did um, to kind of get like this overlapping effect, I went right here to where it says spacing. And then I went to letter spacing and I just reduced the letter spacing. Um, let's see what size. And then I made that yellow. Sorry guys, just checking the size. It looked kind of smaller. Um, so let's pull this down just a little bit like that. Perfect. And then the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add this text. Again, pull up a text box. This is about 100. What was it most influential people? And the sizing is 80.7. And I again use the Bondani. And then we're just going to align everything. A lot of this is pretty repetitive. Um, and so I'm just going to keep, you know, designing and editing. And then I'm going to pop back in when I change fonts. Um, but the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and add is my name and Nicki Minaj's name, of course. <laughs> so one second, I'll be right back.
going to do is just bring it down just a little bit. Again, making sure everything is still aligned. Then I'm going to go over here to elements. And then I just went to lines. And then I chose this one. And so I just left it the standard size as it came. Again, making sure everything is aligned. Then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. And I'm going to put one right below it. And then honestly, again, Canva is glitching, <laughs> obviously. Um, for time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste the rest of this text. All right. And so there you have it as far as the main body of this um cover magazine. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you is how to add these lines on the outside in the barcode. It is really, really simple and really, really easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So the next thing I want to go ahead and do is go to the element side. I'm going to go back to line. I'm going to do a red line. Let's increase the weight. Then let's extend it all the way out. And if anybody has any tips on how to extend a line and keep it straight without having to drag it out, please drop it down in the comments below. It is so difficult trying to create lines and having a steady hand. Um, so yes, if you have a way to help me out, please share that information with the community. It'd be greatly appreciated. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is zoom out just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that. Let's zoom in, zoom in just a little bit more. Okay, just making sure it's actually touching the bottom. Um, then we're gonna take the line again, we're gonna duplicate it, turn it to 90 degrees, zoom out, extend it, again, keeping it at 90 degrees. Put that right there, duplicate it, repeat to the other side. And then what I did um, as an extra touch, and you definitely don't have to do it, I added a thinner white line around. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back once I'm done. All right, y'all, so I'm back. I made some adjustments, added the lines. Everything is looking great. Um, it's looking very much official <laughs> and I'm very pleased with my outcome. But again, to add an extra detail because I love the details, I'm gonna go over to the element side. I'm gonna look up barcode. My computer's running a little slow, so let's go over to graphics. So for some reason, I'm unable to find the barcode that I use. So I'm just gonna choose any one. And honestly, it really doesn't matter. It all gives that you know feel to the um, template that this is a real magazine just by adding the barcode. So what I'm gonna do is zoom in really, really close. Then I'm going to go over here and then I'm going to add that. And then another touch, as you all can see, again, I really love details. I went ahead and I added the time logo. Um, it's really faint, but when I was looking at the cover on Google right here, I added it. When I was looking at the cover on Google, um, they had something like that on their template or on their design. So I went ahead and added that just to emphasize, you know, this is a magazine, this is real, this could be something that could be really printed and it just really adds to the aesthetic of it. Um, and so that is pretty much it, you all. This is the finished product and I am so pleased with everything. I love it, I love it so much. Um, but you know, if you ever wanna find out more cool things you can do in Canva and new tips and tricks, um, please make sure to follow my Instagram and also follow my Facebook page. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe so you will never miss another video. But until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.